this is one Seagate 5TB ST5000 DM000 HDD repair and data recovery case study. Now we can see that this pension drive is undetected and the family ID is 79. And we got this ID information, the model number and the SN number by boot mode. And then they enter this main interface of the DFL Seagate firmware repair program. Now, we have done the ROM backup and also the unlock ROM generation and written the unlock ROM and send unlock key to unlock the firmware error. After the firmware error unlock, we can read and backup the engineist, the file ID 35 and the volume 3, and then we read this engineist. It's very difficult to enter the F3T prompt for this pension drive. So users need to be very patient for this one. We can see that there are many process read write error. And it takes long time to enter the F3T prompt. So after we enter the F3T prompt, here we can check the end list. We can do the genus clearing and also the translator regeneration, like this one. So until now, we have done the translator regeneration. And for this kind of error, it is important to clear the middle catch. So we need to go to the defects management and click initialize ID. The drive gets busy, so at this time, we can try to click stop, and then we go back to its COM terminal. Now we can see that the drive has been uh, in the LED status. That means the drive gets stuck. So at this time, we need to power off the drive and power on the drive again. Now it's come terminal and we can check the unlock handshake value and we send on log K to unlock the firmware error. Now we can easily enter the F3T prompt after the translator regeneration now. So at this time we go to Initialize ID COM mode. And here we can see the meter catch is ticked. So we need to untick this one and keep these three and then click modify. Now we can see that the program starts to writing the SYS file, connecting with this option. We can try to read the ID again. So we can see that this is the 
actually the SYS light is three, then we can see that we have done the modification successfully. Now we can try to check the data arrow. So at this time, we can find out that the pensioner drive has been properly detected. So let's check if the data arrow is accessible or not. So we can see that the front part of the data arrow has been accessed. Now let's check the ending part of the data arrow to see if it's accessed or not. Click start. Now we can see that the ending part it's red. So this means we need to write the original SYS back drive get stuck From this arrow, we can understand the drive maybe have the weak head issue. The drive is unstable and it reports this error. And it is busy now. No. We can try, try to power off and wait a little moment because the drive is now uh, spinning down. Now we wait a little bit and uh, click power on again. Okay, then we send unlock key. Now we enter the program. Obtain the details. At this time, the program is trying to read the firmware error. Because the drive has now partial sector access issue after the translator regeneration, so we need to write back the original engineist and then do the translator regeneration. Now we can see that all the modules have been available. This means the drive has been detected properly and the firmware error has also been unlocked successfully. So right now uh, we can use this function write the injury list. and note this backup injury list and click write. Okay, so we have done the engineer's original engineer's to write back.
and now um, we can try to clear the genist and then regenerate the translator again and now we just need to wait until the translator regeneration completes and then this undetected Seagate pension drive will be perfectly fixed after the firmware error and firmware corruption is repaired, we can go to the DFLC panel. And then we can open the DFL DDP data recovery module. And then we can image this pension drive or extract this master data directly and this one uh, is very easy now so we just need to wait until this translator regeneration completes